personally better off because of President Trump? Absolutely. He's awesome, and he tells it like it is, and he's not fake and phony like some people we know. Are you personally better off because of President Trump? Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. I know that they think that only the rich are getting richer, but some of us got bigger paychecks. Thanks, Trump. I love President Donald J. Trump. The media is attacking him, but when they attack him, they are attacking us. Because he is out here fighting for us. We need to make sure we fight for this man, the one man who is standing up for black America, we are going to fight for, guys. We have to keep it going. I love this guy right here. Let me give this guy a hug right here. I love this guy right here. And I'm thrilled to be here in the heart of Georgia to launch our incredible new nationwide grassroots effort. Blacks, think of this, blacks for Trump, black voices for Trump, African-Americans for Trump, Call it whatever the hell you want, right? We like it. What do you prefer? Blacks for Trump or African Americans for Trump? I think so. Thank you. Thank you for being brave. Thank you. Thank you for making the black community a priority. And thank you for fighting for all Americans. And this is why you will get our vote in 2020. I want to say one more thing here. A while back, President Trump said, when he was talking to the black community, if you vote for me, what do you have to lose? Because the do-nothing Democrats have done nothing for the black community. 2020 is around the corner. And we have a lot to lose now because President Donald J. Trump has done so much for the black community. Thank you, President Trump. Well, each of you has come to Washington for the Black Leadership Summit because you have what it takes to achieve real change on your campuses and in your communities. And that's what you've been doing. And that's actually why you're here. You speak out for the values and principles that have made America the most exceptional nation anywhere on earth and i will say this today is greater than it ever was before our military our economy we have the greatest economy in the world we have the greatest economy we've ever had tremendous numbers just came out today you heard that but you stand up for the oppressive forces and you do you stand right up to those forces in our country that demand conformity and control. You refuse to be censored. You refuse to be silenced. And you will never back down. Now, are we all on the Trump train? I said, are we all on the Trump train? I hear you. Okay. When I say all aboard, you say choo choo. All aboard. Choo choo. All aboard. Choo -choo. All aboard. Choo -choo. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. I love y'all. I'm figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. I'm black. I'm black. And I'm black. Yes, I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I am black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. If you couldn't tell, we're black. I'm 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 not voting for Joe Biden. And I support Donald Trump. I'm black. And I ain't voting for no Biden Democrat. <laughs> I'm black and I don't support Joe Biden. I support the 45th president, Donald J. Trump. I'm black and I'm not voting for Joe Biden. I support Donald J. Trump. If you couldn't tell, we're black and we're not supporting Biden. We're voting <laughs> for Trump. Yeah, Trump 2020. Yes, I'm black. No, I will not be voting for Joe Biden. And yes, I support President Donald J. Trump. 
I'm black and I'm not voting for a Biden Democrat. I'm black, but I ain't voting for no Biden Democrat. I'm black and I ain't voting for no Biden Democrat. I am black and I am not voting for Joe Biden. I am not voting for Democrat. I am voting Trump all the way. I'm black and I ain't voting for a Biden Democrat. Chart 2020, you see it. And I'm black and I'm not voting for a Biden Democrat. I'm black. I'm not voting for Joe Biden. I support Donald Trump. I'm black and I ain't voting for a Biden Democrat. I'm black. I am not voting for Biden. I support Donald Trump. I'm black and I'm not voting for no Biden Democrat. I'm black and I ain't voting for Joe Biden or none of them Democrats. I'm black and I ain't voting for no Biden Democrat. Trump 2020. May I just say one thing? that you did ask four years ago, what the hell do we have to lose? Yeah. But if we don't vote right this time, we're gonna have a hell of a whole lot to lose. That's yeah. right. 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 wanna say that. Make so sure vote right, right. So, so you, you won't get that. Right. You're gonna have a lot. You're yes. Lot. This could be overturned easily. Yeah. We need that four happen. years because, yes. you know, yes. I say it's like yeah. a tree. Four more years. Yeah. This is the thing. I know people don't like Trump. I understand that. But let me tell you something. If I had to pick between him and Joe Biden, I'm not voting for Joe Biden. You want to see? You want to see a bunch of black people go to jail by the next four years? Put Joe Biden. In. Watch what happens. You want to see black men get killed substantially, like they, like you've never seen before? Put Joe Biden in and watch what happens. These Democrats, and I'm sorry to say this, I'm not trying to be racist, but they hate black people. These are the same people who fought to keep slavery in. These are the same people who built the KKK. These are the same people who hated us from the beginning. The Republican Party is the party of the blacks. Black free, the Republican Party is the only party that the black people actually assisted in finding. But all of that history has been torn away. People say, oh, there was this big switch. There was never a big switch. The union, the union won because we had grown in the industrial area era. So we were able to get trains and get supplies back to our soldiers while the Confederate was still riding horses. They were not able to get supplies back fast enough, right? So what happened was once slavery was abolished in the South, the people in the South could no longer make their money from slaves. They had to move to the North to work in the industry to produce. And so the people in the North that already had established themselves in the industry moved to the South. And so that's where it was a transfer of people coming from the South to the North and people coming from the North to the South. There was never a big switch. So the same Democrats who hated black people from the beginning are the same ones who hate us now. And they use our cause. How did Black Lives Matter turn into something about LGBTQ? When blacks really don't support that. We're concerned about that. We're really not about that. Not only that, we don't support abortion. We're about working. We're, this is the black culture. We ain't even been about that. Not only that, we're not about feminism. No, we're not. Black women marry their husbands and respect their husbands. That's what we on. We're not on this. Oh, and I do what I want. We don't do that. That's not our community, and you would understand. I know you understand what I'm saying. We don't do that. But yet these people are hijacking our movement. The Democratic Party, they're trying to hijack our stuff. No. What's up? What's up? What's up? Don't do it right here.